Hey folks, Nass here. Another episode of Medieval Dynasty in the Oxbow. Uh, as you can see, again, it is a nasty, rainy day again in the Oxbow. <laughs> Just lovely. However, uh, I've been kind of gathering some stuff together uh, between myself and Miss Donkey. As you can see in the bottom left corner of the screen, I'm rather encumbered. Uh, just carrying some items, so we're going to be taking some stuff to sell. Uh, I made some more bronze arrows because I am running shy on some copper arrows, which I need to stack those. Uh, let's see. I've got, uh, of course, the items that have got the diamond. I've got equipped. Uh, I've got some stew left over. I'm going to go ahead and sell that since I've made the potage for uh, my people to eat. Uh, we've got uh, quite a bit of cabbage left. I did go do some hunting, so I had some meat, made up some potage, like I just mentioned. Um, we've got, uh, what am I selling? Oh, the I've still got cheese on me. Oh my goodness, I still haven't eaten that. Uh, but anyway, we've got the stew, and then on Miss Donkey, we've got just a bunch of miscellaneous uh, items. Uh, let's see, can I show you what I've got on her? No, I don't want to transfer to mount, switch to mount. There we go. Oh, I thought I had a bunch of stuff on her. Apparently I don't. Just a bunch of roasted meat and... Oh, wait, no. There. There we go. I, I was in the wrong column. <laughs> like, I was like, wait a minute. This weight is not adding up to this weight. Uh, yeah, there we go. Let's get on the right column. But as you can see, we've got a bunch of bags, uh, beer. We've got... Uh, a bunch of extra healing potions one now granted they don't sell hardly for anything they're what two and a half coins or something so i'm not trying to make a huge profit off of these i'm just making them because i can make them uh gives my herbalist something to do in the winter time because in the winter time they can't pick any flowers or anything and that way i don't have a warning on the screen and i've constantly got uh healing potions in uh, storage. That way, if I do need to replenish myself, I can go and grab some. Uh, of course, we got roasted meat. We got some excess stew and some stuff we got off of the bandits before. Um, so we got wooden bolts, stone arrows, and a couple of wooden crossbows. Now, granted, they are not going to sell for this 130. They're not even going to sell for half because the condition is really low. Just getting rid of them. But... Because we have uh, emptied Pastovia out of all of their coins, we've got to go to a different village. So I was actually thinking about going up to Klonica, because I think Klonica might have the next largest amount of uh, vendors. So we'll go up there, we'll hit Klonica, we'll s try and see if we can sell all of the stuff we have on us. And then there's also, right outside Klonica, there is a little... Uh, uh, villagers uh, recruiting camp. So we'll go over to that camp and see what's available to us. Uh, I would like to bring in another hunter um, so we can start bringing in a little bit more leather because leather is going to be our bottleneck for making the bags. And then I was thinking about maybe bringing somebody in to run the well, the kitchen, and then maybe the workshop so that way the workshop can make the vials for the herbalist and they can also make some buckets to stay to keep the buckets replenished uh, when they break and then i'll have somebody in the well filling said buckets uh, it'll just they'll have a very low production rate just so they don't give us a warning but yet they stay busy enough to keep things kind of rolling and then I'll put somebody in the kitchen again to make the meals because I don't necessarily need to raise my production level, my production skill. Speaking of skills, uh, let's go into the management. Let's hit the skills. You can see that I do have two farming points to spend because I did go through and do some of the farming uh, overnight and everything. So I'm going to drop uh, those two points into carrot on a stick which will actually increase our uh, carry weight on Miss Donkey up to, let's get this last one in here, uh, an ex extra 30 kilograms. So it was 10 per point. So we got 20 more 
kilograms. But we have a max now on uh, Miss Donkey. She can carry an, an extra 30 kilograms on top of her base. Uh, so I think that gets her up to uh, 95 kilograms. Let's see. Switch to mount. Oh, 105. Gets her up to 105 kilograms. Very nice. So I could probably put the excess that I have in her storage, but my overweightness doesn't really affect her too much. At least not right now. Uh, now, I believe I did go and hunt the Wysent. Of course, we got some deer. I got the bear. But beyond that, I haven't done any more hunting. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to go to Klonika. We're going to see about... Uh, the villagers we're gonna also see about getting rid of some of the stuff that we have and then maybe we'll try and go and do a little bit of hunting this episode so we can uh, get some more meat and specifically leather so we can make more bags to sell next season uh, actually there's stuff over here in the river I'm not noticing anything bad over here. Okay. All right, let's get off Miss Donkey. Let's see what's in these bags real quick. Here's a shipment here. Okay, so we got a couple of pear wine. We'll take that. Even though I am encumbered. What do we have over here? 222 coin. I will take it. And three leather. Thank you very much. Perfect. All right, let's finish heading on to Klonika. And... Uh, get rid of our stuff and see about picking up villager so i'll see you folks when we get there all righty here we are coming into klonika let's see what vendors we can find uh, is this guy a vendor no i don't think you are you a vendor i need a no. new knife but don't have the time to yep you are let's talk to you you are the hunter dude you're the one i got the knife off of uh, let's see. What do I have to sell? I'm not going to sell the leather, but I will sell the pear wine. Let's get rid of that. And how much stew will you take? 61. Great. You got 12. 12 left. All right. Let's see. What can we take off of Miss Donkey? Because now I got some weight. I can carry some stuff. Let's grab that. Uh, let's grab this. And I grab this. Still not encumbered. That's fine. Let's grab the arrows, the bolts. Uh, let's grab the crossbows. Ooh, 28 stew. Can I carry all of that without being super encumbered? I can. Now let's talk to this guy one more time. See if we can empty him of a few more coin. We'll start with the beer. He's got 12 coins. That's going to be three. Yep, but we can do that. He's got eight coin left. What do we got? Um, let's go with the, he's going to take a couple of these and I've left him with less than a coin. I don't think I have anything. It's really going to do. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to take the, <laughs> that last 0.7 coins from him. All right. Let's see. Is there, what's this guy? help you with anything yes you can uh you can buy all of my stuff that would be great uh let's see what do i have that's expensive price price there we go it's all the stuff let's yeah let's sell him the cross or the the wooden crossbow i do not want to sell my torch but we will sell him this other wooden crossbow then we've got stew. Now, what I have did is I sorted this by price, starting from highest to lowest, so I can sell him the highest priced items first and then work my way to the lowest. And he's going to take all of the stew. Thank you. I did not see how much money he started with either. Uh, let's see. I'm keeping the leather. Uh, I'm going to sell all but 10 of the healing potions. I, I like to keep like... 10 on me just in case uh, and then he's going to take all of the roasted meat wow he's going to take all this stuff there and the wooden bolts there 
That's it? He took everything. That's everything we got to sell? Perfect. Good. All right. Well, we got rid of everything. You need anything nope. You helped me. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Okay. Now, let's make sure. Open saddlebags. Oh, we have 10 bags left. Ha ha ha. I knew there was something else. Okay. Let's go see if he'll take any bags and let's go find another vendor. Are you him? No. We're shit. He disappeared already. Uh, but you're a vendor. That's oh, okay. It's you again. Yes, it is me again. Have it's been a while. Uh, let's see. Ten bags. She'll take eight. Perfect. Price is so low. Goodbye. Thank you. Oh, here he is over here messing with this thing. How happy. Will you take these other two bags? I don't think you will. You only have fifty-two coins. I've been the vendor since before you could walk. He sounds a whole lot older than he Fair. looks, actually. Uh, let's see. Any more vendors? Vendor, vendor, vendor. Is that it? No, that can't be it, is it? I thought there was another vendor over here. I thought there was another one. Apparently not. Okay, well, I guess I've hit all the vendors. They, so they only have like three vendors? There. All right, so the herbalist, we hit that lady, the little craftsman guy, and then the hunter. We caught him as he was crossing the bridge. Okay, yeah, I guess they only had three. How many does uh, Stoya have? Stoya has three as well. So then there's Skalky. Does Sk is it Skalky that has more than three? Hmm. I don't remember. But either way, let's see. What do we got? Looks like we've got five people here and they are not that great uh survival uh you got threes and a lot of stuff something hypnotizing about that. but not what i'm looking for farming extraction and diplomacy is what she had there was this guy in the tavern who called himself three in hunting we do need a hunter uh, sorry and three in production okay so I, sure I he stole my money I can take her as a hunter and him as production. Now, what is the Dad, well? Is the well right. production or extraction? Actually, I might need a new pitchfork. Um, I could probably put him in the workshop for sure, but I need to look at the, the well. But let's get this gal here. We're going to put her in for hunter. We'll work for food. We'll work for food. Don't worry, honey. I will feed you. Uh, let's see. Don't worry. We've got firewood as well. Ooh, I haven't checked that in a while. Uh, I'm creating a new settlement. I'm looking for good people willing to join me. Uh, there you go. Say no more. That's the opportunity I was waiting for. Great. See you there. Dee -dee -dee. Uh, Radomir. Okay. Let's go into management. Let's go to Radomira. We are going to give her an, a, a house. We're going to put her in an empty house. It looks like we have four empty houses. Okay. We'll just pick a house and put her in it. I don't think it's going to matter a whole lot where it is. And then we need to assign her a workplace. We have a hunting lodge. And we're going to drop her right in there. Perfect. So now we can go to the hunting lodge Doo -doo -doo. hunting lodge we got two people in there and their assignments are leather so they're going to produce 11 leather a day perfect that's what we need okay now this guy here he was give me the stuff yes he's a 3m production but that is it so he's pretty much stuck where he's just going to be doing production. Let's see. I'm creating a new settlement. Willing to join me. Great. See you there. Dee -dee -dee. Uh, what's his name? Seslaw? I think that was what, how you pronounce that. Uh, let's go into the management screen. Let's go back to this. Let's go to here. Let's give him a house. I have three empty houses left. Now, I think what I'm going to start doing is once my wife starts back to work. So she, again, my wife is going to be out for two years taking care of the baby. Once she's ready to go back to work, 
then what I'm going to probably start doing is pairing up some of these people so we can start getting more children in the village. But I don't want to pair them up too quickly um, because I don't want to have like a huge baby boom and then like everybody's out of work. All the ladies are out of work for two years. I want to kind of rotate it a little bit. So I'll have, you know, one or two ladies out taking care of children instead of producing or working and stuff, you know, on, on a regular basis for several years. That way it's easier to maintain rather than all of my ladies being out at one time. <laughs> uh, let's see. We're going to assign him a workplace. Now, what workplace do I want to put him in? I'm, I'm thinking the workshop. I am thinking the workshop. Well, I can have two people in the workshop. Okay, that's good. Um, or do I want to put him in the well? So far, I've been taking care of the water myself. Okay, so water carrier. That does say extraction for water carrier. Okay, well, that's good to know. So we're going to have to put him in the workshop. That's the only place I can put him. Um, so we put him in there. He has zero assignments. So we need to go to the workshop. Workshop. And we're going to give him an assignment. We're going to have him making buckets. Now, I don't want him making a bucket a day. Maybe... A bucket every two days so we'll put that at 0.5 so he'll make one bucket every two days and then the 10 vials uh what is that that takes two planks okay and then that takes one plank we will take this wow that's 10 vials do i want him making 10 vials a day That'll be 60 vials in a year. That's going to be a lot of vials. Let's let's have him, let's put that at five as well. Okay. So then he's literally going to need hardly any planks a day. Okay. What? Two? One and a half planks a day? <laughs> I've got quite a few planks. I just don't know that I have any in the storage building can i see storages yes resource storage here do i have any planks in here that's going to be the trick logs and planks yeah there are 20 planks in there okay so i just need to make sure that there are some planks going in there so let's go to uh what is that extraction the woodshed. Let's check to see what these guys are doing. Okay, so they are producing planks on a daily basis. I'm going to drop this because they don't need to be producing 20 planks a day. Let's produce... That should be plenty to keep him busy. Right there. Uh, we'll, we'll take it to two. That's fine. That way we... we never run out we're constantly accumulating because i will be using some as well okay well, that's good okay so we got those two people taken care of i don't think there was anybody else um you're in survival i don't think i had a survival position diplomacy farming and uh extraction oh i could put her in the well I, well, not put her in the well. I could assign her to the well. I don't want to put her in the well and contaminate the water. <laughs> the right man in the place can make all the difference in the world. Okay. Now, let's, uh, let's go. Let's talk to her. I'm creating a new settlement. Great to see you there. And we're going to go back into here. In the management, we're going to go to people. We're going to go to what is her name? Bolamira. We're going to assign her a house. We'll do that. And we're going to assign her a workstation. And we're going to do the well. Because she did have extraction, I hope. I, I'm pretty sure she did. We 
we go. Yeah, she had extraction. Good. Okay, so we got her in the well. Now we need to go to the well and give an assignment to fill the buckets. Which she may not have buckets available to her yet. So we may have a... a yeah, no resources. There's no empty buckets currently. So we're just going to put that at 10 for right now. And then we'll have to... We'll have to probably make get a bucket or two to make and drop in the uh, resource storage. God, it's so dark. It's daytime. Alrighty, now... What do you mean it never rains? It's raining right now. <laughs> and you're sitting in it. All right, excuse me, honey. Gotta come through. Now, uh, what time are we? Is it? Uh, we're just at noon. That's good. All right, let's hop on my donkey. So we've gotten those done. We got one more house that we have available to us. But there's no more villagers here that we can recruit or that we need to recruit. So I think what we're going to do is head out. Wow, they're going to take a long time getting back to the village. We're going to head out this direction, I think. And try and get some hunting done. Collect some meat. Collect some leather. Have I been this way and discovered what is here? Uh, I have a little bit. So we have deer right there. And we have Wysant there, and we have Moose here. That should get us quite a bit of material, probably more than what we can carry. So let's, oh, there's a deer right there. Let's go ahead and hop off Miss Donkey. I didn't see that we really had any threats around, so that's good. Although I see a tent. Let's see if we can get this deer. He's calmed down a little bit. Ah, he turned. Turd. Man, they juke and jive. Okay, well, I've hit him a couple times. Is there anybody in the camp? I don't see anybody in that camp. Alright, let's see if we can get this guy. Hit him again. Saw another one over here. Oh yeah, he's down by the water. And this rain does not make it easy to see these guys. Caught that guy in the noggin. We'll just tag them all. Maybe they'll... Ah, dang it. Come on. Come on. Quit... Twitching. I do have to say the twitching that some of these animals do is not good. <laughs> All right, there's that guy. You're going to take off. Oh, I did get it though. I got a tag on that one. We're just going to keep following the blood trails. I probably should look to see if I've been dropping arrows. Yep, there's some off in the water. Alright, let's go back down and get these arrows. Hey, the hunting lodge too is unlocked. That's good. Give me my arrow. Here's the other one. Give me that one too. Alright, so just two arrows. Let's go into the inventory. I probably need to re-equip it seems to be that I'm losing quite a bit of arrows. Let's see if I've lost any up here. Yep, there's some right here. I swear it looks like it's getting dark out. How on the earth did I get an arrow in the tree? Really? Like, there it is right there. Can I... Uh, maple tree. I don't think I can even... I see it. It's like right there. Nope, I can't reach it. Stuck there forever! Because I'm not chopping down that tree right now. Oh, here we go. We got a deer that finally fell. Good job. 
have to walk over to that camp and see what's over there. Uh, there's a deer there. Two deer. Let's see if we can get a tag on either of them. That one dropped. That's good. Missed that one completely. And dropped that one. Good. Four deer down. And, oh, there's another deer right there. Okay, well, let's skin this guy. Keep an eye on that one. Alright, I either got a tag on it, which I think I did. Get another tag on it. Just kind of keep an eye on it while we're skinning this one up. I think we're going to need to call Miss Donkey over here. Okay, let's see if we can get this guy down. There we go. Right near the camp. Perfect. Arrows, arrows, arrows. Anybody? Nope. Bueller. Alright, let's skin this guy up. Now, I'm not 100% sure that there's not wolf back here. So we do need to be careful. Uh, ooh, an iron knife. I will take that. Thank you. What is that? Sticks? No, I don't need sticks. Hi, Miss Donkey. How are you? We'll take that stone axe. Here's a bundle of stuff. Rye beer and some meat. Good. Anything else? Um... I thought that was a bow, but I think it's just a crease in that little sleeping bag. Well, that looks like it's about it. Alright, let's open Miss Donkey's saddlebags here. And let's just put some stuff in her inventory. We need that deer skull right now. That iron knife. Put that in there. We'll take that to the hunters. Put the leather in there and some 66 meat. We'll put the rye beer. We'll put the salted meat. Put the stone axe. And I think that should be good for now. We literally have like four copper arrows left. Go ahead and equip those. And we'll leave Miss Donkey there. Where are we at? We are up here. There are boar here. There's going to be something else in here. And I don't know what it is. But let's head up towards the boar. To see what we can find. Yep, there's there's one right there. Mr. Boar. Oh, nice. Thank you. Rabbit discovered. Let's see, are there any more boar? I'm not seeing any. Was it seriously? There was one boar in this location? We'll check the map after I'm done skinning. Scan the area. Alright. It's the boar? No, the boar is... There's still boar here. Fox, rabbit, and what is that little thing there? Badger. That's what that is. Alright, so there's supposed to be another boar out here. Let's see if we can find it. Not seeing it, though. Rabbit discovered. Fox there. I don't need a fox. Uh, what's over here? Badger. I believe we're getting close to the border. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, we got a little bit of room back here. But we're going to head back this way because I'm looking for this other boar. Oh, a bandit. Hi, how are we doing? I just heard the music change. What the heck, dude? Where'd you come from? Are you the only guy? I don't know that you're going to win from this with fisticuffs. Oh, you have a friend.
Where's your friend? Did he leave? The music changed. Whoa, he did not leave. There he is. Look at him hide behind that tree. Did he go sit back down again? He did. Okay. I'm going to loot this guy while he's sitting down. Yeah, this guy literally just fisticuffs. We'll take all of your stuff. Can I get my arrow back? Is that a possibility? Yes. Q. Okay, let's go visit this guy. Here. You want to hear an arrow? Boop. <laughs> That's what it sounds like when it doesn't whiz by your head. That one whizzed by his head. That one whizzed into his head. Okay. Just a couple of guys on stools out here. Hey! Where'd that one come from? I heard another one. Holy crap. Oh, there he is down there by the road. That guy looks like he's fisticuffs, though. Oh, no, he's got a bow. Not anymore, though. Anything else? Anybody else? Holy crap. Just trying to do some hunting. Let's take all of those. You guys are all done. Being ding dongs. Your beer. I'll take your cudgel, onion, and bolts. Thank you. What you guys have in contraband? Linen fabric? I'll take that. A pair and salted meat. Don't see anything else. Fail. <laughs> Big F in the comments for that guy. Alrighty. Back to looking for boar. That's what I was doing. Before I was rudely interrupted. rabbit. I don't know where this boar is. Badger. Badger. There's Miss Donkey. Alright, well, we're close to Miss Donkey. Let's go drop some stuff off in Miss Donkey's inventory, and then I guess I'm going to have to go do some more hunting. Uh, lots of stuff here. What's she got? She can carry quite a bit more stuff. Oop, oop. Bottle. There we go. Cudgel. I don't need a cudgel. I'll put the leather in her inventory. I'll put the fabric. 25 meat, the onion, the pear. Roasted meat, salted meat. What else? Wooden bolts, crossbow, crossbow. How much does... Ooh, my longbow's at 35%. I might be using those uh, wooden crossbows. Okay. Now, what are we near? Wysent is going to be next. Wysent is there. So let's go see if we can do... Take down some Wysent. Those guys are going to give us some leather and some meat. Hello? Oh, there's a couple right there. I know it might be hard to see because of the rain. Uh, there's another one off to the right of them, it looks like. It's like there's four in this area. I don't really want them all... F nope, the music tried to change. Let's see if I can just pick one off. Uh, I think those other two just turned to look at me. down. Yep, these other two are coming after me and I can't hold my arrows straight. Okay. Let's get a tag on both of them since they are facing me. No, stop running. No running. No running. It's not fair. Keep putting arrows in their heads. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> 
I guess I had a quite as well. Oh, whoop, there's another one. Okay, let's go ahead and just drop him. Where's he at? Come on, come on, come on. Poke your head. Boop. He's a little closer than I'd like him to be. But let's see if we can get these. I think I'm on bronze arrows now. Yeah, bronze arrows. I see them down there. Okay, get my arrow back. Get my arrow back. Uh, get my arrow back. Arrow, thank you. Ah, we got them all, looks like. Unless there's others, but I don't know that there are going to be. We're definitely going to need to calm this donkey in because I think these are going to encumber me. Couple more arrows. Let's get these arrows before I forget to. Those are pretty important. There. Can I get the one off of you? No, I have to skin you to possibly get it. There's a bunch over there. Hi, Miss Donkey. Uh, let's go ahead and put some stuff on Miss Donkey. Some more 91 leather. That's good. 221 meat. Oh, she's encumbered. I can't put any more on her. I gotta make her unencumbered. Uh, by how much? Like the leather? Okay. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and skin this up. I think I'm gonna be the one that's encumbered. Nope. I'm not encumbered yet. How much inventory do I have? I am almost encumbered, though. Let's see, where were those arrows? Let's go grab these. Grab our arrows and then we can head back to town. Back to our village, not to town. That way I can empty this stuff between me and Miss Donkey. That's not bad. We got a ton of meat though. Like, what do I have? I have a 71 kilograms. We've got a bunch of leather and a bunch of meat. That's 14. How much can she carry? She can carry like 11. So let's let's at least give her 11 kilograms of weight. And 11. Yeah, she's just shy of being encumbered. And I've got mm, 19 kilograms I can carry. Now... That being the case, can I? I see the moosey over there. Let's see about possibly getting a moose. That might be all I can carry. There's a bridge over there. Oh. Oh, there is a bridge over there. That's right. Never mind. Thought that was new for some reason, but thought I was in a different location. Uh, let's get this here got him in the head shoot him in the butt he's down okay I'm not gonna worry about shooting the other one right now oh there's barrels in the thing let's see how much this guy's gonna get us I think we're gonna be encumbered after this oh no we're not okay that's fine are there any arrows? Yeah, right here. And let's see what's in these barrels. Copper bar, I'll take it. And apple, coin. How much coin? 53 coin, I'll take it. And, ooh, poison iron arrows, okay. Not bad. And then how much weight am I got? I'm like six pounds. Um, I don't know if I can get, let me see if I can get this other moose. Is that a busted cart over there? Hang on, there's a busted cart over here. With some berries, wine, that's it. Uh, that appears to be it. Now, let's see. I don't think I hit her. Man, I can't. 
can't hit her. Like they they juke really weirdly. If I didn't know any better, I'd say as soon as the cursor touched their head sometimes. Any bow or arrows that I've dropped? Come on. There we go. Okay. Now this is probably going to encumber me. Let's call Miss Donkey. That we can go ahead and hop on her. Yep, that made me encumbered. Good. All right. We got quite a bit of hunting done today. We got. Uh, 194 leather. Uh, let's switch them out. Did I leave any on her? No. But that's good. We got 194 leather. That was mainly what I was going for. What about meat? Uh, 357 meat on myself. And 86 meat on Miss Donkey. So <laughs> we got quite a bit of meat and leather. So we are going to head back home. So we'll follow the coastline down and around and head on home. But I think we are going to call this an episode. I appreciate everybody being here today. We will take care of probably some more hunting because uh, I want to get that leather up so we can make some more bags and stuff like that. However, we did find uh, a couple of little camps. We ran into some bandits. They weren't too big of a deal. We handled them pretty good. But anyway, folks, uh, I appreciate everybody being here today. If you are enjoying these episodes, definitely hit that like button. Uh, if you have, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. I greatly appreciate it. And a special thank you to my members. You should be able to see them on the screen. And we will see you folks in the next one. You take care and happy hunting.